Good morning. It is Saturday. I don't know why I had to think about that. It is Saturday morning here in Cornwall. It's sunny outside. I don't know how warm it is. I'm quite warm because I worked out this morning. My workouts this week have not been great. I've been, I would think I've been lazy. I haven't been lazy because I've had a bit of a toothache this week. So I've not been feeling great, to be honest. And I haven't slept great. Um, toothache is a lot better. But also, I've been teaching two days this week, so when I teach, I don't tend to work out before I leave the teaching, mainly because I don't have time. Uh, although I was teaching locally, so I could have worked out before I went, but I just decided I didn't have time. So, um, Saturday morning, I thought I would be good and try and do some vlogging this weekend. So I've got something to post on Tuesday. So if you're new here, my name is Anakin, and I design knitting patterns, I teach knitting workshops online and in person, and I sell yarn through my website. Uk, and this is October episode four. So episode three has gone live this morning. It's Saturday. This episode will be out on Tuesday, hopefully. I have finished something, so I thought I would talk about my knitting first. So I finished these hand warmers yesterday evening. Doesn't look great with my watch underneath and my bracelets <laughs> underneath, but um these are called starlight um i've made a tiny change to the original pattern in that i've gone up a needle size so i originally did them on 2.75 i've gone up to 3.25 and the reason for that is that i'm using them for a workshop next month at the knitting hotel and the choice will be either these my passion flower hand warmers which are also beaded lace or my some of my set norwegian stranded colorwork sail blue uh, mittens or hand warmers and they all use 3.25 so I thought if I change these as well I can just ask people to bring 3.25 millimeter needles and they can choose the pattern on the day so I need to knit up the smaller size so I did these in the solid color it's uh, Monos Uruguay Allegria in I don't know what the color of way is called I don't have the label here I will put it below and link to it i've got the yarn off a sell my website and i'll also link to the pattern pattern is currently only available on ravelry but once i've updated it and it's been uh, checked by my tech editor i will also list it on pay here and if you've already bought it on ravelry or you're buying it on ravelry before i update the pattern you will get your new um, version once it comes out by the way i had my hair cut yesterday so it's a lot shorter than the last time I filmed. And then once I finished that last night, um, it's probably, I don't know, half an hour before bedtime or something. I can't remember. I thought I will cast off my socks. I finished my first uh, Manuel's Uruguay Allegria sock while we were away in Yarndale and Scotland. Did I finish them all away? Or did I finish when we got back? I can't remember. But anyway, it's finished. So I haven't cast them for the second one. So I cast them for that. Last night I've done one, two, three, four, five, six rounds of the 30 round rain. Um, we are going to Lou this afternoon and I thought in case we go into a coffee shop or something, I thought I would cast this on and get it ready so it can go in my handbag. And then if I want some knitting while we're in Lou, I can just get that out and do a bit of knitting on it. The I do want to cast on today for the smaller size of the Starlight hand warmer, jumping a bit back and forth here. Um, probably because I haven't all planned anything. <laughs> That's what vlog style videos are like. Um, so this is another bowl of Allegria. I love this colorway. I was going to do socks with it, but I'm going to cast them for the small starlight and see how this knits up in the lace pattern. It might be too busy. I may have to change my mind and do something else. If I can't use this, I will probably use a salvable yarn because it would be also good to show what it looks like in a self striping yarn. Not this one. This one I've reserved for my mum because she wants another pull of that colourway. But um, I've pulled this up, ready to go. So I'll probably use that and see how that goes. And then I also need to, I was thinking about this morning, I haven't done anything about this neckline on this sweater. So I also need to, I'm going to bring it downstairs with me so I don't forget and um try and do that i might try and cast on or pick up the stitches i think what i've decided to do is to neck and knit and edging which i didn't want to do but i think that's what i'm going to do uh because we're going to london in two weeks and this is quite lightweight it's not too warm but it's warmer so i was thinking when we're in london i find when we're in london I am warmer than elsewhere because we tend to use the tube a lot we tend to be in and out of shops or museums or whatever a lot and I was thinking if it's dry 
I'm wearing this it is sunny but I was thinking if it's dry this would like over a t-shirt or a dress or something I'm wearing a dress today but this over this dress for example would look quite good and I got some tights that are just a smidgen darker than this um color and so we're going to London two weeks um it's still October so I hopefully will film a little bit for Vlogtober when we're in London it'll be like the last Vlogtober video I expect uh, we're mainly going up because Vanessa and I are going to a concert at the O2 Arena on the Saturday. So I was thinking I could wear this then because if it's dry, if it's raining, then I will not wear this because I do not want it to get wet. But I was thinking there are times when I'm in London where I find a coat, especially a waterproof coat or a winter coat, too much. And it's October, so I don't need a winter coat. Probably my denim jacket unless it's raining keep saying unless it's raining this is England it rains a lot but I was thinking I really like to wear this um so I need to sort this neckline out so I'm going to put that there so I don't forget it another thing I'd like to do this weekend is to line my glamour clutch um so I might actually take this downstairs with me as well so I don't forget it but knitting until Sam gets home he's going to help his dad with some stuff and then we're going to go down to um Lou after lunch because we're both getting our COVID vaccines um this afternoon now a little bit of a warning if you don't agree with COVID vaccines or vaccines in general fine you do you but please don't comment about it I am very pro those who want to get vaccinated get vaccinated I'm also very pro those who feel like they want to wear a mask for whatever reason should wear a mask um I think that most of us should probably wear a mask inside at the moment because COVID rates seem to be Going quite high again uh, as we're going into winter and also loads of other respiratory bugs and viruses and colds and whatever around so i don't think wearing a mask is a bad idea um if i know Lisa, you disagree and um it's been difficult i think in the last year two years for those of us who choose to wear a mask and choose to get vaccinated it's been a lot of hate i got loads of hate I think I shared that before Yarndale. I got loads of hate on Twitter. So I am having a no tolerance on this at the moment. So if you post any negative comments about wearing a mask or vaccines below this video, I will delete them. Um, just because I feel that for those of us who feel like we want to be vaccinated and want to wear a mask, it's hard enough as it is. You don't know someone else's personal health history and you don't know why they should make the decisions they make um and that's it so a little bit of warning there sorry if i sound a bit stroppy um so what else is going to be in this video so hopefully i will be able to film a bit from lou this afternoon um at the moment it, it was sunny a minute ago now it looks like it's going to rain i think according to the weather forecast it's going to be dry today hoping it'll be nice in lou i think we'll get there get our vaccines done then have a wander around maybe go and get a drink somewhere and then come back and then chill this evening with Strictly Come Dancing. So I don't know what else you're going to see next, but hopefully I'll be able to share some more. I have no idea what we're doing tomorrow. One thing I thought I would just quickly mention, because last week in one of my Vlogtober videos, or it might have been my podcast, I'm not sure, I mentioned I got these new scales, and I said how fantastic they were. They're actually these. Then when I started using them, I couldn't get them to work. So I contacted the company I got them from, and um they immediately sent me new ones which came within like two days i think and they've just arrived yesterday last night and i have just tried them and they work the other ones it just came up with like a weird thing when i switched them on instead of saying zero it was just coming up with like a weird thing they're really great because you can you can uh what's it called um calibrate them to make sure they're accurate i it's not working when i'm holding them you can also weigh different ways so you can do grams ounces you can do pieces um i'll just check that they worked again uh so they're really great i haven't used them yet i just opened them now and i weighed a couple of things that were on my desk like this yarn just to make sure they're working and they seem to be working so when they when i first got the original ones i didn't want to link to them because i said i would link to them and then i didn't because by the time I uploaded the video, I was realizing they weren't working and I was worried about linking to them in case anyone bought them and had the same problem. But now that the company got back to me and sent a replacement so quickly, I'm happy to recommend them. So I will link them below. 
um if you're interested they're very light i don't know how much they weigh but they're fairly light compact this lid clips on so if you want to take it with you for travel and things it should be fairly secure you can also hang on let me just get this lid back off again you can also put stuff straight on the weighing plate or you can put this on it has like a circle here that actually fits onto it and then you can put stuff in there uh, so depending on what you're weighing you can weigh pieces so like number if you want to have an exact number of items so if you say i was weighing beads and i want to have you know 100 beads i can do that on there um and it does grams ounces i think it's up to 300 grams um yeah max 300 grams smallest is 0 0.01 gram up to 300 grams um but it does ounces of, as well apparently it's a british company so yeah very impressed i bought it on amazon so i will link that below in case you are looking for scales these are perfect for weighing yarn if you're making something and you want to know how much yarn you've got left perfect for that and i had another pair which i thought which i couldn't find the other day i thought i'd lost them but then i did find them after i ordered the new ones but i mean they're kind of the lids broken off and they're old and um i could probably do replacing them i have another one like this which the lid does i do have the lid and it also comes with like a sleeve to cover it which is one i normally take traveling with me it's tight tight a little bit slimmer but a bit longer feels like it weighs about the same so i really like these uh very excited to have a proper pair of scales couldn't find these and as soon as i'd ordered the new ones i found these but i decided i still want a replacement because i think these are going to be a lot better for me to work with so very pleased with that i will link it below Good morning. It is Sunday morning. It is. Oh, hang on. I was working, doing my Pilates, and I forgot to search my uh, exercise tracker off on my watch, so that's not good. So it um, added five minutes to my Pilates workout. It's eleven o'clock, so it's quite late. Um, we had a line today. We went and got our COVID and flu vaccines yesterday. Um, we had we only booked our COVID, but when we got there, they said, "Do you want flu as well?" So we said, "Yeah, we might as well." So. I was asked if I wanted them in one in each arm or both in the same arm and I said well, what do you recommend and she said well you might end up with one sore arm or two sore arms so I went with them both in the same arm and I am a bit sore when I touch it or if I move my arm too much but when I'm just sitting like this I can't feel it. Simon on the other hand has had more severe side effects but he's had more se severe side effects to nearly every um, Covid vaccine apart from the second booster when we had the first two, dose of the first two i think um first two vaccines i think the second one he didn't have a reaction to but he's had a reaction to most of them i had a quite severe reaction to the first one where i was ill for 24 hours and then i've been fine ever since so very happy with that um feel fine i think if i was going to have a reaction i would have had it by now because we had it yes early yesterday afternoon so it's about 
22 hours since we had it so i don't think i'll have reaction anyway last night when i was watching strictly come dancing i thought right let's get this sweater sorted out so this is the sweater that i knitted um when i started when i was in norway in september and i finished it in scotland and the original neckline hang on let me just tilt the camera down a little bit the original neckline came to here which doesn't look that deep but when i wore it it was just it just felt like it came down like to the top of my stomach <laughs> and it was just falling off my shoulders and it was just driving me mad and i was not happy with it so i wasn't happy with it so i was considering i was considering what to do about it and i didn't really want to pick up a knit and edging don't know why but i didn't want to i really wanted to it to be okay and not have to do anything anyway i finally accepted i had to pick up a knit and edging so when i knitted the original neckline i did it in garter stitch so that i wouldn't have to knit an edging it would lie flat and i wouldn't have to knit an edging i slipped the first stitch of every row at the neck edge so that it would have a nice smooth edge so what i did was i picked up a stitch in every slipped stitch along the edge so that was a lot fewer stitches than rows so i was half the number of stitches compared to rows and then i did i thought the edge because it's just stocking stitch i thought the edge would roll so i think i did about 16 rows and i did like a central decrease in the v did 16 rows then i cast off i used um a slanted cast off which looks very nice and then i tried it on and it was a little bit higher up and i thought well that's a bit possibly a bit too tight i get over my head but the icelandic stretch cast off is normally a bit stretchy but in this it doesn't have any stretch at all um which i don't understand i know i did it correctly because i watched my own tutorial to remind myself i have a tutorial i posted in september i think so i'll link that below um but i did it on so the sweat is knitted on three and a half millimeter needles i did the cast off on four millimeter needles and i tried to do it looser than normal I tried deliberately do it looser to make sure that um it would be stretchy enough however it's not very stretchy so when i pull it over my head i can kind of feel it um so what i did was i undid the cast off which is a little bit of a pain because this yarn even though it's not mohair so it's not super fluffy it is fluffy so undoing the cast off was a bit of a pain but i did that i took out two rounds then i cast off again and it's a little bit better but i still think that maybe i should do undo a couple of more rounds it looks fine i'm quite happy with how it looks it's just want to pull it over my head i can get it easily over my head it just feels like it lacks a little bit of a give but i do really like the look of the um cast off so let me take so first before i take it off again i love the v-neck i love this detail i don't know why i didn't want to put that in to start with i really like how it pulls the v-neck in um, it looks in the um, camera, I feel like it looks like a one by one rib, but it is just stocking stitch rib. I love the fact that it doesn't curl, although I was um, expecting it to curl. Like now, when I pull it off, it's a little bit tight across my neck. And I actually think, oh yes, okay, I'm going to have to redo it. I guess it is too tight across my neck, so I'm going to have to redo it. Because I just pulled, I pulled it a bit too hard and I actually broke the so yeah that's gonna have to be redone so that's a bit annoying but never mind but what I was going to show you was the cast off edge I don't know whether you can see it I will try and take a, I will redo it this afternoon and I'll take a separate close-up camera a film of it lying flat so yeah um clearly that cast off was too tight so what i'm going to do since i have to redo it anyway so i'm going to take out a few more rounds i might just do 10 rounds in total and see what that looks like um that's annoying i was a bit worried last night that it was too tight but because i'd undone it once already i just didn't want to undo it again um but i'm gonna have to so anyway i was gonna wear this because i'm gonna walk the dog in a minute I was going to wear this and try and get some photographs. I was going to take my selfie stick with me so I could take some photographs of me wearing it on the walk. It's quite warm today, so it might be too warm to wear it actually because it doesn't look like it's very windy and it's sunny. So but I'm going to go <laughs> walk the dog, come back, redo that, and then I will show you. I'll try and show you this afternoon what it looks like.
I have redone the neckline. I undid the cast off and then I redid it. Oh God. The annoying ring light <laughs> in my um still can't get rid of that ring light um i'm downstairs because in my office i cannot get a full length shot of this anyway i've come downstairs i've redone the neckline so i took out the cast off edge and unraveled a few more rounds so i got 10 rounds in total i think yesterday at 16 then i took it down to 14 now i've taken it down to 10 and the cast off edge is a little bit more stretchy I did it on four and a half millimeter needles this time instead of four and knitted on three and a half um and i tried to do it loosely so it's a little bit more stretchy i think it really depends on what kind of yarn you use and i think with a thicker yarn like dk which i use for my Icelandic cast up tutorial it's stretchier than it is in a lace thread yarn but anyway it is stretchy now so when i do pull it over my head it is much looser and it's easier to get over my head so that's good um so i really like this fits nicely around my neck it's much better when i first did it it was kind of coming down here and going out like that and it was just falling off my shoulders and it didn't look right so this look a lot, looks a lot better i have found one of the photos i took of it in scotland but i'm wearing a pink top underneath so even though it comes right down here you can't tell that it doesn't look like it came right down there, but I did, I think I picked up like once, the equivalent of one stitch for every two rows in the neckline, so it's pulled in a lot. Um, I really like it, and I love the fact that this is stocking stitch, but it's still really flat, so I do really like that. So let me see if I can move this camera down a bit. So I'm just going back to bed, so I can't get him to film anything for me at the moment. He's not feeling great after his vaccine but obviously i will get proper photographs soon of him uh, well he'll take photographs of me modeling this for the pattern arm length if i have my arm straight down it just hits my wrist which i'm happy with i don't want it too long let me move that up again because the arm um make sure my tripod is steady um because the um sleeve is quite wide i will need to include instructions in the pattern i think for how you can make a narrower sleeve in fact the pattern will probably be because of the way it's knitted and the construction i'll probably write a pattern so that you can choose different body sizes and sleeve sizes so if you want narrower sleeves you can do that by just knitting a shorter armhole but I want a wider sleeve because I got some tops that are quite wide sleeves that I want to be able to wear it with. So that's why I did that. Um, you can also have wide sleeves but decrease before the um, wrist. But I will alter that at some point. I don't know. At the moment I'm happy with it. Um, I'm thinking if I want to roll them up because I do quite often do that. I don't know. We'll see. I quite like wide sleeves. Um, yeah, I really like it. I guess the problem with white sleeves becomes if I want to wear it under a coat, then I might have problems. But I'm so much happier with the neckline now. Don't know why I waited two weeks to do it. But I'm really, really happy with that. So yeah, very pleased. I think I'm going to stop today's video here and edit it and upload it so it's ready for uh, Tuesday. Um, today is... It's a dog barking outside. I don't know whether you can hear it or not. Um, but today is Wednesday. It's now afternoon. I'm feeling quite tired, even though I slept a lot last night. Uh, so maybe that's my side effects from the virus, from the uh, vaccine. I don't know. But I think I'm just going to chill and watch telly and do some knitting for the rest of the day. This will be it for this episode of Vlogtopia. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. I will be back on Thursday with a regular podcast episode where I'll talk about everything I've been knitting and been up to in the last week. And I'll probably talk a little bit more about this and I might see if I can get some full length shots as well of this. So I hope you'll join me on Thursday for a regular podcast episode. The next October episode will hopefully be next Saturday. No idea what that's going to be about, 
So you'll have to join me to see. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.